What's up, YouTube? We're gonna we're gonna test out some legs today. I got some eight inch, some six inch, some three inch, some uh, flat locks, a bunch of stuff that we use in carpentry. <clears throat> so uh, we'll see how it does. Got the four amp on there. Also got a two amp uh, compact and three amp. We'll see how they perform if they. Uh, perform a little different on their load I hear that the battery really makes a difference with the performance on these M12s so pass it to the cameraman four bars it's on high On self tapper mode, it kind of ramps up. So, uh, start with something a little smaller. So, like three, three and a half inch. On speed setting three. Okay. Sunken, no problem. Still another one. And another. Up to something a little bigger. Let's actually, let's do these quick. Got some smaller, two and a half, three inch. Flies those in pretty quick. Okay. Now let's try some four inch. Got some four inch uh, timber lock screws, I think they're called. We always use these in framing, suck things together. Pretty aggressive. No problem. The reverse right away. Nice. Now we're gonna switch to uh, the two amp, the smallest one I got. We'll see if it struggles with the four inch screws. Two amp now. So we just got finished using the four amp. Our battery did pretty good. All right. Now let's try these guys. Nobody would ever use these with a 12 volt, but 
Well, Milwaukee, you can. So, let's see. We'll do it with the two amp hour first. Now let's do it with the 4 amp hour, see how it performs. Three, two, one. Definitely performs like a 20 volt. And for that price, I mean, you get a set with like the impact fuel, the drill fuel, and an oscillating tool with two batteries for like 169. So I mean, can't go bad at that price. Ugh. Overall, I like how these two, these two perform. But this one was just test on the impact. All right, and now we'll also do this quarter inch leg just to see. See if it struggles with the thickness of it. we got it's probably a little unrealistic for this impact but we're gonna do it flat lock That's about six inches, I'd say. Three bars. Wasn't exactly full, it was almost full, so there you go. Uh, likes and don't likes. I like everything about it except uh, the angle. Instead of being at a 90 degree angle, it, it kind of angles up a little bit, so that takes some getting used to. Uh, the other brands like DeWalt and Makita, they always go at a 90 degree angle. So, I mean, that was the only difference that it took some getting used to. <clears throat> All right.